Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about zip function in Python and map function. So the zip function is basically what it does is to group several iterables together and returns tuples. Let me show you what it means. So let's say we have two iterables, two lists, for example. Let's call them the first one like ages or age and this age is a list of numbers so like uh, 17 23 45 and then we have also a list of names and this is like John um, Sarah and Jack so we have these two these two iterables and they are iterables because you can iterate over the items, you can loop through them, so they're called iterables. Now, if I want to correspond or group each corresponding in index together and put them all in one list, I should use zip function. And, for example, I want a list where John is grouped with 17, and Sarah with 23, and Jack with 45. So in order to do that, we're going to use zip function. We're just creating a variable total and we use a keyword zip followed by parentheses and inside them, because we have two iterables, two lists, we can put them here like for example I want the name to be in the beginning and then age there. Now what it does is that it goes through age or well first name it sees John and it puts John in a tuple and then it goes through age as well and finds the corresponding index index 0 is John here and index 0 is 17 so it puts these two in a tuple and then it returns a zip object so let me print total you will see it's an object not a list so it's a zip object as you can see here and in order to turn it into a list so that I can use it I can just use list and then I run it again and now I have John 17 Sarah 23 and Jack 45 in a list cool now another cool feature is that Imagine I want to uh, print out the names and the age next to each other in a sentence. So if I loop through it, for example, I say four, and now instead of name and age, because total is has two arguments, name and age, I can unpack it. I can say, for example, N and A. So N stands for the first one, which is name, it could be John. And A stands for the second one, which is age, which is 17. So for these two, so I'm unpacking it in total. And I don't need to turn this into a list anymore because it's an iterator anyway, so I can iterate over it. So for A and then A in total, print, and I'm going to use an F string because I'm going to use also variables here. And I would say name, and I'm going to use variables, that's why I have to use uh, curly braces or curly brackets. Name is uh, going to be n, the same n. And then, and age is going to be, it's going to be what? It's going to be a. We close it here. And now if I run this, you can see I have name John and age 17, name Sarah and age 23, name Jack and age 45. So this is very cool if you want to combine um, two iterables like lists, for example, according to the index numbers, if you know that they correspond. But what if one of them has the length of one of them is, let's say, longer? For example, we have another name here, like Mo. What happens now if I run this? So if I run it, again, I get the same thing, but Mo is not included anymore because it goes as far as it can 
and then beyond that it can't find any corresponding index for this one so it just leaves it out okay that was basically um yeah what a zip function is now let's get down here a map function so yeah now map function map function returns a map object just like a zip object that I just saw here uh, which is an iterator just like zip object again of the results after applying the given function to each item of a given iterable okay let's see what that means let me get rid of these so what it basically means is that if you want to apply for example if you want to uh, do something to every item in a list or an, in an iterable then you can use map to um, apply a function to each and every single item in a list imagine that I want to turn all these names into uppercase I can do it with a for loop of course so I can just say for I in name um, print I dot upper so if I do that I should get John Sarah Jack Mo or or I can also do something else I can also uh, put them in a different list for example I have op name and this uh, ip name no op name and this op name is going to be an empty list for now I'm going to add these to this list so here I can say I equals I dot upper and then I have to uh, append to op name so op name dot append I and then at the end we have to uh, print print uh, op name and this way I should have this in a list you can see John Sarah Jack Mo all in uppercase but the easier way is using a map function to apply the same function to every single item instead of going through them in a like a for loop so let's use map function now so for that let's say up equals and the syntax of map function is map and here we need at least two arguments um, yeah two arguments so one here is I want the function to be applied to what I want it to apply to every uh, single item every item in name that is these right so I put name here and what is the function that I want uh, to be applied to these items let's say str dot upper I remember I don't use parentheses here because it is already implied that is a function now if I print up I get a map object I don't get a list I get a map object and you can see a map object at this place in memory but if I want it to, to be a list I simply use list and then I run it again and now I have this in a list so you can see it's much shorter than going through a for loop having another empty list adding to the list and then printing out the list so this is much shorter now what about uh, let's imagine that we have some other functions outside of this for example we define a function let's call it just fun and it takes uh, like one parameter n and what it returns is n plus plus one that's it now I want this function to be applied to these items again instead of this I can use fun here the name of the function without parentheses so it will take whatever is in name that is the first 17 would be n passes it here and then it returns 18 and then it goes again 
23 plus 124. Now let's uh, run this and do what? Um, typer. Oh, can all concatenate? Wait, oh, that's an sorry. Yeah, mistake is that I was trying to do it with name, not with age. So it's here, name instead of name, I should use age. Now, if I run this, you can see 17 has turned into 18, and then 23 has become 24, and 45 has become 46. So this is also another way of um, doing things. Now, a third way of doing it is using lambda. So in, because this function is actually a very short function, so we can use lambda instead of using an external function, oh, I mean function outside this map. So in order to do that, let's just say lambda, and lambda is going to take one parameter just like n, so let's say n, and what is going to return is n plus 1, right? So let me make it more beautiful. n plus 1. And now we have this. Now, so we have this lambda, which is basically a one-line uh, anonymous function, so it doesn't have a name, like fun, it doesn't have a name, it's anonymous. And you can just, uh, it only also returns one expression, that is, it, it returns one thing, just like this. And this is going to be like an argument that we pass. So we're going to get rid of this now. And now if we run it, we should get the same result. And indeed we do. Cool. So we got 18, 24, and 46. Awesome. So that is basically what uh, yeah, zip function is and map function is. Thank you for watching and listening. Have a good day and night.